Welcome back to Bean Crazy Custom Creations. I'm Miss Francis. This is Miss Jeannie, and we're doing we're gonna do a gnome part, a gnome and a skull party today. Uh, I have several different new gnomes that I've gotten, and I got three different new skulls. So I've already used the eye candy Satori White. And mix up white because that's what I want to pour the gnomes in. And I got a crap load of it mixed up. So we got to get down here and get started. I have a list of everything that I used in my description. Um, for the most part I used um, Let's Resin Chameleon Powders to color the gnomes. And I haven't colored the skulls at all. But Let's Resin Intense chameleon powder and let's resin chameleon powder and then some red so let's get you down because I got all this epoxy mixed up and I got a pour I got lots here so I'm gonna start pouring before I lose some epoxy here In my epoxy, I hope everything's okay, but the part A was so cloudy that it was rough. I did mix it for five minutes, um, so I'm hoping it'll be okay, even though it was so cloudy. And I'm going to start right here. And I need to... It'll be hard making sure he doesn't have any bubbles in his hat. So I'm wondering, I set them on the tray, but I don't think they can go in the machine because they're too tall. Let's hope I don't have a bunch of bubbles. This is my new ones from Let's Resin, and it's a uh, couple Santa Claus. One's got a Christmas present and the others got um, a Christmas tree on his head. Those are the ones Miss Jeannie and Mr. Allen got me. Alright. I'm just going to go on to the next. and This one here has hearts all over his hat and I couldn't get up in there to color them all. I'm gonna slow down a little bit because I need to I need to do some squidgies here and some bouncing. Cause I don't want a bunch of bubbles here. one over which ain't got no epoxy in it but I'm about to knock it over let's leave it and I'll try and do it scrape it out better but I'm gonna have to wipe that because I got it running down the side and I didn't want it running all over my tray. I put them on the tray hoping they'd be a little better. Some of them don't look like they're balanced. They're softer silicone and the softer silicone wants to lean. So I'm hoping that once I get some epoxy in them they won't be leaning but I can't guarantee that. I figured I'd do start this one. 
tomorrow we're going to do a live so hope everybody will join us we're going to do a live and we're going to do some Christmas stuff for the live some different Christmas crafts because that's what Wanda's been doing and I kind of think I got some cool ideas to do well, this one's got the tree on his head, so I think I better squidgy the tip down there. Supposed to have a star on the end of his tree, at the top of his tree, but I didn't see it. So I don't know. Hope I got enough mixed up to do them all. Because that was a lot. Yeah, I do have some more gnomes coming. I mixed up enough. I don't know whether I did or not. I was hoping I mixed up enough for these and the skeletons, but I don't know. Alright, there's that one. Still got that big one to scrape out, but I'm trying to make sure I get these pulled before I get any stuff curing. There's gonna be a lot of cups. I don't even know if I made enough. We'll see. There's another one that's leaning. I'm a little worried about that. I may have to put some over there because I really need to bounce this and make sure that I'm getting all the air out of this hat. Or it's wood gym or something. Don't lean, please don't lean, please don't lean, please don't lean. Please do not lean. Okay. Um, let's see here. Let me get this one over here where I can you can still see me pour, but I need to make sure he doesn't have any air in his hat. Pretty sure I don't, I didn't mix enough. Because I still got three more to pour. I got another eight ounces over there. Mixed up almost 32 ounces. May have to mix up some more. Forward and put them back on the tray. Okay, there he is. <laughs> Let's hope I can get him back over there without spilling him everywhere. These are kind of leaning too, and I don't know if there's enough to go in there, but we'll try. I'm gonna do some bouncing here. I need to bounce my cup over. Okay, let's see what else I got in there. 
See here, I thought I made up too much. I really did. That's what why did you I, do know? That's why I got them skulls out, because I thought I'd already mixed up way too much. Try and scrape it out of there as much as possible, Jeannie. It's alright. So it's not such a mess. Not like I got any place to go. No. No. Okay. Let's move some of these that are done over there. Because I got some that aren't done and I need to be able to get to them. Oh, I see what you're doing. Trying to move these over. This one's not full yet. And I got another eight ounces, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have enough to do all the skulls. But, you know. I can always mix up more. Oh, yeah. I had to do the gnomes before Jeannie goes home because, you know, there's some new ones. And she got to have her new ones. Yep. Almost knocked that one right over. Be careful. Almost did it. And this one's leaning bad. And I'm spilling it because it's leaning. <sighs> Darn it. Darn it. Set it over here on this quick tab. It is leaning bad. I'm going to have to have something to prop, up, prop it up on. I'm, I'm hoping the other one ain't going to lean, but it looks like it's going to, too. Um, let's, uh, you're going to have to move your move skulls, please. I did. Okay, now we might have to, I don't want a paper towel under it. Yeah, it's it's leaning it's leaning pretty bad. Yeah, God bless it. That's what you get for buying cheap Timu molds. Okay, we're gonna have to set something to keep it from. Slide it over there closer to that. Whoa. It's going to overflow. <laughs> Mr. Allen. Hello. Hello, Lavinia Gray. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to run out of white. I don't think I'm going to have it. I didn't mix up enough. But I still got one more here. And that's going to be a leaner too, I think. God bless it. God bless me.
Yeah, I'm probably going to have to find some for this stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to make up some more. I don't know that I'll make up quite as much as I did. I'm almost afraid to scrape that one because I'm, I'm afraid it's going to lean over and it's going. It's going to go. And that one's going to go too. Those two last ones I got from Timu, they, they're big leaners. Yeah, this one's leaning too. I might have enough to finish this if I scrape enough. But I might have to put it somewhere because it's leaning. It's definitely leaning. to make them more to do the skulls that's fine but I don't have to make them white let's see if I can <laughs> oh no I knew it was going to happen that's why I said it over there this one's leaning too I don't know if I have enough in these in this big one maybe to finish this one off because I'm probably going to have to set something up against it, too. Because it's definitely leaning. It ain't leaning quite as bad as that one was, though. Well, I don't know. I don't know if I want to try doing the skulls or not. I may have to save them for another video. Might have to scrape that. I don't know. I mean, it's... I don't Just know. leave it alone. I mean, it's full. I mean, <laughs> it's definitely full. Just leave it alone. Okay. I really don't want to. I've got some bubbles here, though. I don't really want to spray. Come on, bubble, go. It ain't going. It ain't going. Where's my little bubble popper? Oh, it popped finally. Okay, what is that? That one was a bubble. See, this one's kind of... Kind of leany, too. Set it up against that big one. <laughs> I'm afraid to. I'm afraid I'll knock that big one over and then I'll have a big mess. <laughs> nope. At least if the little one falls, it's going to spill in the tray. I mean, I, I can't do anything about it. It is leaning pretty bad. So, I don't know. We may just leave it at a gnome party. <laughs> I don't know. I can mix some more up, but I have to go upstairs and get some more. Get some more what? Epoxy. Oh. We still got some over here. Maybe not enough part. I don't know if we got enough part B. Yeah, I do. I don't know how much those skulls will take, and where are we going to set them? Oh, we got room right here. Yeah, I see. Okay. 
We'll be back when we get the cups all cleaned out and get some more epoxy mixed up for the skulls. All right, we're back. I mixed up another 20 ounces, and hopefully that's gonna work for these, whoops, skulls here. I'm trying to get to over where you can see. Might have to zoom you a little bit. Let's zoom just a little bit. Touch. Ooh, I got a big old bubble right there. No, I don't want to spray it. I don't want to spray no more. I have a hole in it. Alright. In this one, I put mica powder, let's resin mica powder, rose red. We also added mauve. Roxy Epoxy Glow in the Dark Mob to it, which is uh, kind of lumpy, but we'll see. We'll see what happens there. All right. I'm going to get to that little one first. I was going to try and pour it first. These are in my way. We don't need much, really. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit. Stop. <clears throat> Stop on that one. It or squeegee it or something. I'm dripping on dripping the other one. Okay, that one's ready. I hope we mixed enough. We measured. Don't mean nothing. We measured before. Yeah. So we just measured one. One could take more than the other, who knows. I'm sure that one doesn't overflow because it looks like it could be unlevel. Let's go to that one. I'm breaking this one while you're doing that. Okay, you're good to go on that one. Is that other one okay? It ain't overflowing. No, not overflowing. Does it seem like it was setting? Maybe it's just the way the mold looked. I thought it was setting on level. What? Come on. Let me wipe this so it doesn't drip. Okay. I don't know if I can look for the other one. That's okay. Uh, come on. Hold on. I see some lumpy. <coughs> bottom. A bunch of that. Pink. Is <laughs> in the bottom of it. I <laughs> <laughs> Yep, well, that may be the only one that glows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of lumps in there. And I know I should have tried to mix it up like a paste first. But by the time I remembered to do it, I already had it all in the... I guess I could have mixed it up like a paste and then poured it back in. Mix it back in. Mm, 
set it over here and scrape this out till I get this full. Just a little bit, really. Not a much, not much, but might grab that little flower mold over there on the table behind us, and I can maybe pour one little flower with this before okay, I have to. I'm not seeing any flowers. Pink. Look under the pink ones. In the pink ones. There should be some little mushrooms, some little flower ones. Mm -hmm. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh sorry. God bless it, Kay. Yeah. God, is, God is blessing me a bunch tonight. He's <laughs> <laughs> blessing me a whole bunch. I do one big mushroom. Maybe. Let's see. everywhere. Doggies are protecting us. At least they think they are. <laughs> One of them does anyway. He thinks he is. Master Shredder? Yeah, he thinks. Alrighty. Alright, well. We'll be back tomorrow when everything's ready to... Well, we're going to do a live tomorrow at 6, six but this will be, be a totally different video, so...
this one will be before the live so we'll see you tomorrow all right we're back it's the next day and we are going to get this no man's goal party started get them unmolded so there's the little skull that looks like he's got brine. No, this is just the regular little skull from. Uh, Here's the brain one. That's just the regular little skull from uh, Timu. Is where I got that one. This is the one that's got the, like the little brains and it. it's got various colors in it because it wasn't full. So we just kept filling it with other colors. Kind of looks almost like candy corn. <laughs> yeah, it looks like candy corn there. Yeah. Let's get this a little bit more off while it's soft. Kind of looks like candy corn. molds up because for the live tonight I'm going to need some space. So we have here no evil and hopefully I can get him out with that cutting myself because they're always sharp down there towards the bottom. It's a roll. If not I'm going to spray it. broke loose so I can roll here. Without cutting myself. And I just don't have any room to do anything. Here, no evil. He's gonna be sharp on the bottom. He's gonna have had the deburring tool used on him. This is speak no evil. And I'm probably gonna have to spray that one the same way I spray the other. Get the down in there. Well, <laughs> he's pretty cool looking, dude. They all are like. Pencil holders. I'm going to try this one like that. I don't know if I can do it. I can get the other one to stretch. They stretch pretty good, so. And here's see no evil. Those are. All right. Now we're going to start on this gnome part of here. These are some of the new ones I got. And most of these came from uh, Timo, except for 
the sand I like the most. Whoa! <laughs> it's not the all. Now, I didn't get all of his hat done because I couldn't get down in there. But here's what he looks like. I couldn't get all his hat. I couldn't get all the way down in there. It was so small. So I may just leave him that way. There's another new one. I don't. Yeah, I, like I said, I ordered them from Timu, and I don't. I actually don't remember what. <clears throat> Hopefully, I didn't just reorder the same ones. Never know. Timu, it's really easy to reorder the same ones you just got. He's cute. <laughs> well, let's put him right here, maybe. There we go. Then when I move my tray, we can show them all off. Cute. I think these. Um, the other, some of these others were ones that I already had. There's that one. I can't really, I can't really figure out. I thought he was holding a mushroom. Kind of, that's kind of what it looks like. Looks like he's holding a mushroom. This might be the same one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nope. He got a flower on his hat. I hope I didn't just reorder these. <laughs> if I did, I did. He had a flower on his hat. I'll show you them all when I, if I get them all unmolded, I'll get them all set up. I think this might have been one I did before. I don't know. This seems like it's in here. I think so. It looks like it's in here. It's going to be a little hard to get out. Spray some alcohol down here. Get him loose. He doesn't seem to want to roll very easily. Myself again. You did. Already. Did already. already. Yeah, that is a different one. Because he's got his hat is bent over. I didn't have that one. I didn't, I don't I know I didn't do that one. Mm -mm. Okay, then I got the new ones that Mr. Allen and Miss Jeannie got me. These are Lutz resins. Where well, I don't know how I got red in his beard. Really only put I think I only put red in his nose. He got in a beer fight. My guess. Because I only thought I put red in his nose. Gotta learn to stay out of them bars. <sighs> See, that's, that's the part that's going to be a little tricky to get out, is the tree. Some air bubbles, darn it. 
Here's that one. Christmas tree gnome. This one goes with the Christmas tree and all. This is another one that was from the Lights Resin. And Mr. Allen and Miss Jeannie got me these. And he's got a bird on top of his head, but it was really hard to get up in there. So, the bird's going to probably be the same color as his hat because I couldn't get up the, in there to color the bird very well. Alright. There's that one. Okay, I know I've done this one before. I don't remember where we got this one. Could have been Chinu, could have been Amazon. Kind of hard to keep track. I know I've done this one before. Mm -hmm. The last time I took them out to Sin, and uh, the hat went droopy on me, because I took him out of the mold too soon. This time it shouldn't be, really. <clears throat> be clean because they got so I got color down in them. I missed one. He has uh and there was an air bubble right there under his hand. You can't and there you can't really see it. He has shamrocks on his hat. I'll have to pour that one again because my daughter in law loves those. Alright, let's see if we can get these all where you can see them all. This one had little hearts all over its hat. Clear up to the top, and that's a little heart. But I couldn't get down in there far enough to do his hat yeah. all the way, so. Slide them around where everybody can see them. There's a gnome party. I forgot we poured this too. With the leftover. And glow in the, with a little bit of glow in the dark in it. Mushrooms. And, oh, we forgot the rubber ducky, too. Oh, he was in front. Yeah. He bought our rubber ducky mold. I did not do that one on camera. But we will unmold it. He was pretty soft and wanted to lean, so I had to put him off to the side and prop him up. a rubber ducky. <laughs> it's a rubber ducky. Pretty cool looking. Alright, well, I'm going to do my shout outs and then this video will be done and we're doing a live tonight in a few hours so i got to get prepared for that. So, shout outs are Wanda's Plus Creations Stacy underscore the crafty cat, Rez C. Liz, India Brady Art, 
Art by me, Andrew Walker. Billy Holman Creations. Cosmic, Cosmic Carol's Creations. Artsy Doodles. TLC's Handmade Hayloft. Roseanne's Crafting Corner. Coral Marine's Resin Art. Crafting with Carla. Cynthia's Crafts and More. And Amy's Resin Corner. That's all my shout outs. And we will see you all on the next video live. Bye for now.